What's good? This your boy DJ Cree coming back with another video. Man, legendary producer Dr. Dre just revealed uh, that brain aneurysm he had actually almost killed him. Uh, he was on the legendary producers podcast interview with uh, Dovet Quince. And he actually uh, explained in more detail about the brain aneurysm he had back in uh, January 2021. If you guys don't remember, uh, it was a big thing. He came out or the news came out that he had a brain aneurysm and we just didn't know the details. I guess now he's um, actually talking about actually what happened. And it was a lot scarier than he actually revealed. His family actually gathered at the hospital uh, to say the final goodbyes. And this this was around COVID time, so nobody was really allowed in uh, the hospitals unless it was like one more family, just one family member. But they uh, pretty much uh, gathered around him to say their goodbyes to him. So we almost lost our legendary producer, Dr. Dre. I mean, we've already lost uh, Nipsey Hussle. We've lost uh, Nate Dogg and a ton of other guys on the West Coast. Um, but this is very re revealing. It is very, very revealing about like what actually Dre went through. And y'all ch check out the Legendary Producers podcast, man. Um seems like these podcasts are, are really having these artists open up and and reveal things that we didn't know you know and i'm glad dre is okay for right now you know what i mean but here we go i'm at cedar side not hospital and they weren't allowing anybody to come up meaning visitors or family or anything like that because of covid but they allowed my family to come in i found out later is they called them up so they could say their last goodbyes because they thought I was out of here, you know. So I didn't know it was that serious, you know, I'm seeing my mom and my sister and everybody coming in the room. And, and nobody like told that. you. Nobody told me. I had no idea. That was crazy. So I'm in the ICU for two weeks. Because of what was going on in my brain, they had to wake me up every hour on the hour for two weeks to do these tests. I'm like basically looking like sobriety tests, like touch your nose, rub your heel on your calf and all that shit. So every hour for two weeks, I had to wake up and do that. You were tired all the time. Tired. As soon as they leave, I would try to go to sleep because I knew they were coming back in the next hour. So that's what happened. At what point did it become real? Like, oh, sh I I'm in trouble here. Did I ever cross your I mind? I never felt like I was in trouble. I felt like, okay, I'm just going through procedure and I'm I'm ready to go home. I'm hungry. I didn't eat for two weeks. Jeez. That was a really crazy experience. But you came out of it. Yeah. Some I came, will say I came out of it stronger. Stronger than ever before. Absolutely.